Hello, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Metal Gear Rex. Um, yeah, hope you're all doing well. Um, first off, I totally forgot to mention yesterday. Um, I wanted to give a big shout out to Greiker for that wonderful stream he had. Uh, the dude worked his magic and somehow was able to get uh, not only Cyrax on, but he got William Glory Hole. He got Tony the Black fucking Dragon and uh, Tyler and Y. So uh, that was really cool. Uh, I don't know how you did it, buddy, but you did it. Uh, it was an excellent stream. You deserved it. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> if you're not subscribed to Gregor, please go do so. Sorry, guys. Bear with me here. Uh, I had a long work morning and uh, got home, took a nap. I'm still trying to wake up, so I'm just trying to tank this rock star as fast as possible. So please forgive me if I sound a little drowsier than usual. It's, uh, it's not the paint thinner that I've been huffing to get through all this Cyrex content, I swear. It's, it's not the usual affair. So what are we doing today? Um, well, that was, that was Blood is Good by uh, Javier McPherson. Javier Rodriguez McPherson. And uh, yeah, that's, that's Chance's new song, essentially. Um, <laughs> Chance, like he's not even trying now with his, with his theft. He's just taking entire songs or entire like vocal patterns and just placing them on these random beats. And like he did it, <laughs> he did it twice last night. He took the same vocal part, the same rap and stuck it onto two beats and then called them his own two separate songs. Like he's God, he's a joke. God, he's a fucking joke. Not even trying to steal now. 
Elmer Chad, good to see you, man. Thanks for being in the chat. Yeah, Wengus is uh he's not very fond of chance, is he? Uh I apologize. I don't know if the title changed. I it was not the correct title when we started. I don't know how that happened. But um yeah, today we're gonna cover Cyrax's disgusting, gross, grapist, uh pedophilic father. Uh, and I mostly I just wanted to check out the similarities between the two. It's it's striking stuff, man, to see these two work. Um, it's, it's pretty gross, pretty gross, but it's, but it's am amazing in a way to see just how similar they are. Uh, I've kind of been staying away from this video today was the first time I watched it. I was just, um, I don't know, something about looking at RuPaul in that thumbnail with his shirt off, just all gross and disgusting. It, there's nothing I really wanted to listen. I didn't want to listen to him, but this is a Cyrax channel. This is what we do. Angus. So, here we go. Yeah, about time you answered on this thing. You weren't backstage here. Uh, I would not pass up an opportunity to speak with you. I've been on here. I've, I've tried uh, saying something to you three different times, and nothing came through. Uh, well, I can't explain that. Um, yeah, so I guess like my first question is, because I looked at your Pinterest, uh, and I was kind of horrified at some of the pictures in the comments. Those comments were not those comments were not made by me, Marty. Those comments were on the Pinterest uh, pictures when I when I loaded them. Okay, what was like your campaign for raising trans youth awareness? You, um, what was? your campaign for trans youth awareness because one of my co-workers austin who is a trans male was getting harassed at work and he wanted to help doing uh, transgender awareness okay okay so right off the fucking bat you can tell yeah these two are um quite similar in their in their tactics i will give ugh, can't believe I'm saying this. I will give Wengus here um, some some sort of credit. He is slightly better at controlling himself than his son. I mean, I'll even go as far to say as he's quite good at controlling himself compared to Cyrax. But as soon as he's on, man, he's immediately confrontational. He's full of excuses. Um, like just just right away, dude. From from moment one, it's uh, and and then it only gets worse from there. Um. It just seems like odd because it was strictly pictures of kids, like boys in dresses, and saying uh, that they're easy as, to convince. Like, as what? my ex, as my ex-wife Scarlett was telling you. Yes. As my ex-wife was telling you before, those weren't the only images we used. Those were just some of the best pictures for what we were doing. I find it hard to believe that any. Anybody who's promoting any kind of youth um, advocacy, I mean, I find it hard they wouldn't look into the people that they're they're getting to the help. You know what I mean? And if they let this guy on pretty much scot free, like that's if that's the case, that's a huge fucking problem wherever the fuck that took place. Like y'all need to do your background checks a little better because uh, look at this face here. This look like a face you want to fucking trust. <laughs> this look like a uh, trustworthy jolly. Uh, guy right here because uh yeah no I don't, I don't think so okay i'm gonna look back at some of these pictures here um one yeah exactly elmer uh posting pictures of underage kids cross-dress help his trans uh didn't help anybody didn't help a fucking thing if he if he actually gave a shit or if you know any of these people gave a shit about these kids they'd well, they wouldn't have hired this idiot for one, but you know, you, you could do more than just posting some pictures. Like, are you throwing money into this organization? And like, what, what are you people doing? Are you just hiring pedophiles off the fucking street? One moment here. Like some of them are, they're, they're very scantily clad. Um, the one that really strikes me is that young feminized soccer boys are easy to convince. But what are they easy to convince? don't understand that fully. Hmm. 
Wow, stone face. Look Those at that. Those comments were part of the picture. I did when, I, when we copied the pictures, we didn't use the comments that were on. Those comments were already on the pictures. So, if wait, if the comments weren't on the pictures, then how did people find the comments on your Pinterest? You sick fuck. Like, what? Oh God, you lie about as good as your son, dude, as well as your son. Sorry. On Pinterest. Okay, and I see, like, what a wonderful dress for a boy, and there's, like, a 10 year old boy's, like, head cut out and paste over an adult woman's body. That, uh, to, to me, like, it seems like sexualizing children. Look at that. Look at that. His face barely even changed. No remorse from this fucking monster. That's, that's gross. That's that's disturbing. I understand. I understand about the comments, and I understand your concern on that. But that was not what we were going for. We were just using the pictures, not the comments. That doesn't answer. That doesn't answer the question, though. Oh my god! Complete deflection. He's he's a little bit more cold and calculated. With he's he's less emotional than his than his son. But uh, and that that I find more disturbing than. Cyrax's outbursts like wow 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 that's creepy okay like I'm gonna show one of these here and I don't know if this is oh my god I'm get my stream taken down very well Mike but um oh shit here uh, wrong okay feminized soccer boys oh man um, are easy to convince like what drew you to this picture <laughs> what was like the goal the reason, the, reason we, the reason we selected those pictures is because the the high prominence of transgender youth nowadays you see that you see him tripping over his words sick fuck look at that it's a kid man it's a fucking whoa, kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. gypsy calm down sure um this is the Sorry, that was man who you said you were going to rape his uh, mother and sister and i understand you're probably but i'm sorry good evening gentlemen hello mr Schmeckel. um i couldn't pass the opportunity to uh come up and uh, talk to the man, the myth himself. Hey, Schmuckle Cat. Hey, mm. Schmuckle Cat. Mm. I'm here. That was just my that, that was just my way of getting your guys' attention to let you know I was listening to what you guys were saying. No, were you oh, watching the, You were watching the stream. Oh, okay. So he, he was watching the stream and he wanted to jump on. Okay. I always thought that Marty like reached out to him or something. I see. He wanted to come on and defend his ego. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like somebody else we know. I guess. I guess so. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't take any offense to it. It's quite alright. Yes, I was watching the live stream last night and the night before. Awesome. Does this look at all inappropriate to you? Like it's kind of weird. That it like you know, it honestly made me feel like sick to my stomach. Maybe I'm getting the wrong idea here. Under the circumstance, under the circumstances of the way you guys are putting it out there, yeah, it would be inappropriate. But okay. you're you're misusing the what the purpose of what those pictures were used for. Okay. What is this picture used for, though? Like, what what would you use this for, Rupal? This isn't. This has first of all, this has nothing to do with soccer. It's it's a kid in a dress. Like, what do you? What the fuck are you even talking about, you sick fuck? Okay, what are feminized soccer boys easily convinced of? Or convinced to? What the fuck is he drinking? Looks like a can of aerosol there for a minute. What are they easily convinced of? Or to? I have no idea what those comments on there are referring to because those were on the pictures when we selected the pictures themselves. Oh, for God's sake. Hmm. Okay. If you go on, if, it must have stood out to you, like to save it and use it for later. Exactly. Um, if you go on to Pinterest and you type in transgender youth and they look at images, those comments are on there. <coughs> hmm. Right on. I, I okay, but what? Why are you a convicted rapist and a known pedophile? Why are you even around something like this? 
what, what, what do you, we know what you're doing, Wangus. You, God, God, you're not doing anything with this. I can't say that's something I, I've <laughs> done yet. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said this was for transgender awareness? Are you? Transgender youth, transgender youth awareness. <sighs> Um, yeah, I'm just a little, uh, shocked here. Um, it, what did these pictures have to do with promoting Austin's plight? Like what does that end up developing? Austin, Austin asked me to help him to put together mm -hmm. a transgender youth awareness thing for Alaska because Alaska has some of the strictest laws for transgender. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, I, I've been asked this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, awareness. Exactly, exactly, Elmer. Exactly. Times, uh, and I don't know if this is off base and appropriate to ask, but uh, can I ask what happened with Connie? Connie died in a house fire when, 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 uh, Connie died in a house fire while I was in prison. Fair enough. Um, can I ask, like, how, like, what your relationship is with Chance? Like, does he know? Yo, Daddy O Baggins, thanks for being here. Bucky the Hammer, thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Um, what you've done, or, um, like, the details of it, because I've heard him refer to you as his brother before. So, Look at that face. Chance knows, Look at Chance that face. knows all about my past. Okay, can I ask why you're the reason? The reason he refers to me as my as his brother is because my mother adopted him when he was in the hospital as a baby. Okay, so so legally, they're siblings, but biologically, that's his father because Sally adopted Chance. Okay, I get it. I get it. Like, wow, this is a. This is some backwoods deliverance shit I was not prepared for. I mean, wouldn't he call you his father, though? Stepping over a line? I don't... Yeah, I don't no, know. He, does, he does not call me dad at all. He only calls me as his brother. He calls me Mark. That's it. Oh, sorry. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> Mark? I mean, I guess like the. Pinch I thought his name was <coughs> Rupert Smith. And Mark. Oh, Rupert Mark Smith. I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay, I'm. I'm on page. I'm on board. This story is somewhat plausible. Um, like after and I'm, I'm really. Ups I'm really upset that you get. Hey, um, Marty, listen sure. for a second, please. Sure. Marty, listen for a second. That's amazing. Listen to me, listen to me, Marty. I've been talking the whole time, but listen to me. <laughs> wow, they really are two peas in a pod, man. Please. Okay. Please leave Aaron Moore out of this. My, He's already fired me over this because it's bad for his business. Even though I've had no issues in two years I've worked for him. But it's now harder and hurting his business. What was his, uh, what was his uh, reasons of uh, letting you go? Because of this, the, uh, the comments you guys are, uh, plus the emails you sent and the Pinterest and everything else. It was the whole and combined thing. It does look pretty sinister uh, with those comments on there. I mean, I guess, well, I don't I mean, know if he through to chance, but he just, this, this kid, he just doesn't seem to really learn things. Uh, he, no chance, chance. Let me say something, Marty, and it's not. This is not in defense of my son. My son has no no understanding of how to stop when he's told to stop, and I can have no control over that. He doesn't listen to me at all. <clears throat> Do. You yeah, I'm, I, I can't really fault you there. He doesn't seem to listen to too much of, of anyone. Um, yeah. On September yo, yo, Duante. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it, man. 
Rumor is Sally's first husband is his father from when he raped their daughter. Wow. God, this family's fucked up. This is a backwards-ass family. Holy shit. I understand the issues you guys have with Chance over the... You could write a horror Billy fiction thing, novel series on these people. I, <laughs> the Wilkins. I don't have any control <laughs> over what, he's, what he has. I have no knowledge of what he has or hasn't done. I just know what my mother's told me in the last three days. Could, sure, you, give us, I mean, could, you, give us, could you give us your take on it, if you wouldn't mind? I have no, I have no take on that because I have no un, I have no knowledge of what happened or allegedly happened or anything else. All my mother has told me is that you guys were harassing him about this issue, and then and then now you guys were harassing me. Of course, that's me. what Sally said. Fair enough. When I have not had I have not uh, had any problems since I've gotten off the parole or any of the, anything else. Did this campaign go anywhere? Like, is there any evidence of it existing? Okay, I can't. Oh, I can't hear half of what you guys Burger are boy, up in the chat. How you doing, brother? Playing in the background. Sure, absolutely. Is there any evidence of this campaign? Sorry, my mic went all wonky. What's up, Burger? Good to see you, man. Thank you for being here. In for Austin existing? Uh, not anymore. It's been it's been two years almost since it happened. But, so uh, it's been that long ago, and I have no I, – I've deleted all stuff. The only reason that Pinterest page wasn't deleted, like you guys have said, is because I don't have the password to delete anymore. Hmm. It's been two years since this was done, and I have no way to get in there and close that account out. Otherwise, it would have been gone a year ago. Is there anybody who has any awareness? That is <laughs> – what is with these pedophiles and like excuses like that? You know, if I were caught, it'd be on my record. If it were bad, the site'd be taken down. Blah 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 blah. It's all this superficial crap because it's all they have. All they have is this this meaningless quote evidence for the shit that they do and how how they're how all the evil stuff about me is disproven. And blah. God, he's just like his son. Oh my God, he's just like his son. That's a recollection of it. Birds of a feather, man. I I don't even know how to get a hold of Austin anymore. He has since he was uh, turned from uh, ABC where we worked at at the time because of his being transgender, and he took all the stuff with him. So I have no knowledge of where anything's at anymore. If there was a way to get a hold of it, I would, and I'd show you. But he is no longer uh, even in Alaska that I know of. You'll notice a lot too. He'll say like, sure, I mean, it'll just go he'll say, I didn't hear about it. I don't know. Or I didn't see that. So I don't know. Or all I know is what my mom told me. It's very deceptive language. Very, very deceptive. He, he, um, a lot of half truths. You know what I mean? Like if I, if I saw it, then, you know, I can acknowledge it. If I didn't see it, well, then it truly didn't happen. You know, you're, you're going to get a lot of that from this piece of shit too. So go such a long way to verify that this was for an actual PSA. Um, and I'm just trying to be as objective as possible. Because um, just from what it looked like to me, upon first glance, you know, soccer boys are easy to convince. He's wearing a dress and he looks sheepish. You know, it looks it looks pretty bad. Hey, Marty, I know. I understand that. What you need Marty. to do is uh, just <laughs> sometime on your own time, go on to Pinterest and look up transgender youth or transgender girls, and see what pictures it pulls up. Those, are, those are comments are there. Those are not my comments. I, you had no business. You had no business anywhere near this program, dude. If it's even a thing, fuck you. you you're not even. You're again. You're not even trying to answer the question. You're fucking gross. Oh, you're gross. You're so gross. You're so gross. Can I, that's why we use the pictures only, not the comments with them. <laughs> Oh, it's a vape. That's what it is. Fair enough. It's like a deodorant if, you were to talk to, if you were to talk to my parole officer, Matt Matthews, my former parole officer, he would tell you that I had no incidents in the four years that I was on parole after I got out of prison. And I've had no issues through today. I keep in contact with my parole officer at least once a month just to let him know that I'm doing good. Sure. I mean, you have somebody here saying that a convicted offender looking up children in compromising positions. Um... <clears throat> Uh, 
Hmm. Well, I, I mean, I, I went like, back and I went back and looked at that Pinterest page. You know what the great thing, like another big similarity, like look at this lighting. What is like the dark background and the nothing but like <laughs> the computer lights on their faces? But if I was like to remain in the dark, man, it's what they do. They they hide in the dark with with only their computer light to uh, illuminate their disgusting faces. Page yesterday, I pulled it up and looked at it, and the only scantily clad ones I saw were nineteen, twenty year olds, and those are legal age. So there's nothing illegal about that at all. Spoken like a true fucking predator. Holy shit. I'm not dude. saying that's necessarily <laughs> illegal, but, it, you know, just it made me kind of feel like repulsed and revolted. Like, well, I just don't understand what they were. Where were you looking to find uh, a picture of, of a boy saying that? He's starting to sweat a little bit. I just, all, I typed, all I typed in on Pinterest was transgender youth. Transgender uh, female, transgender girl, and those were the pictures that pulled up. Why the fuck were you typing that in, dude? Like, what? None of this matters. Why were you doing that? Hmm. Um. Sure. Patron state of horses. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fair enough. Um. I don't know. There's just no evidence of this campaign. You would think there'd be, you know, with social media raising awareness of it. Um, like, who's this Austin person's last name? Like, they just vanished. They're nowhere to be found. Uh, I I actually never knew Austin's last name. It wasn't until the last uh, <laughs> few months that he was working there that I was getting to know him. You didn't know his last name? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you say this was like your, your, your fucking... Like somebody that you cared about and you cared enough about him to start this whole campaign. You didn't even know his last name? Really, Wangus? Really, dude? Fuck off, you fucking sick fucking freak. Uh, he invited me to his birthday party at the Blue Moon, which is a gay bar in town. Uh, I went to that just to support him with his friends. But because, as you know, my older brother, who has passed away, was gay. And I, I have a lot of friends that are gay because of that. So I had no problem going to this part birthday party with him. And that's when we talked about doing transgender awareness and what he did with the information after I helped him put, after Scarlett and I helped put it together, that was the end of it. I have no idea what he actually did with the information. But the reason we did it is because the Alaska transgender laws especially pertaining to youth, are so strict. Hmm. The, uh, you, you guys talked about the cyberbullying and all that stuff that you guys and, and Chance and everybody else has mentioned over the time that I've been, on, been uh, paying attention to this. Uh -huh. Okay, that was the major thing that was happening up here is the – Kids that are, are known to be transgender up here were being bullied in school. They were not being allowed to use uh, appropriate bathrooms. Alaska up until last year did not have uh, protections for uh, transgender youth being able to uh, be in school and be safe. Hmm. You didn't think that a pedophile helping out transgender youths would like maybe harm, you know, be harmful and maybe it would harm the reputation of the LGBTQ community. Um, maybe it would harm, you know, the kids that are in the group. Like, no, of course you didn't think about that. You and your son are complete disgusting narcissists. Um, so it's, it's Scarlett said that you were married at one point. Is that true? Yeah, we were married for two years. LFM, thank you for being here, man. Appreciate it. She divorced me because I couldn't give her any kids. I'm, I can't have kids anymore. Okay, I thought Scarlett was... Oh, thank fucking Christ for that. No. No. <clears throat> Hang on a second here. Scarlett... <coughs> I think I just looked this up. Um, um, yeah. I, I did notice something else about the Pinterest. Like, a lot of the links of the people who posted them that were attached, like, have all been deleted. Yeah, well, like I said, I can't delete it because I don't have the password to get in there and delete it. So I can't even get off of there. I, I want that thing. That thing should have been gone a year and a half ago. 
but I can't delete it because I don't have any way to get into the account and delete it. Yeah, I'm not seeing like a single picture of a trans man on here, Donald. It's just boys as girls. Because that's his preference. Because that wasn't the only that, that wasn't the only site we used for getting pictures. That was just where some of the better pictures were for what we wanted to use for higher quality. Yeah, pictures. but it should have been a mix of kids, right? Not just one not gender. Like a single picture of a, of a girl dressed as a man here, like Austin. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm telling you. We didn't use pictures from the, uh, all of our pictures that we used. We no, didn't use. you're we avoiding didn't. the fucking question, you idiot. He's a, he's asking why isn't there more like a diversity? Like why isn't there like you know both genders there? And you keep going off to we just got the best pictures. We just got the best pictures. You deflect and you fucking turn shit around. Oh my god, dude, these two, these two, bro. Ooh, these two, man. <laughs> We didn't use all pictures that were on Pinterest. We just selected those pictures as possible pictures. LFM, no, yeah, he totally does. Like, I thought this was a swastika for a minute. I really did. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, he turns around, he has one on his back or something. Like, he looks like a fucking David Duke wannabe here, sitting here, no shirt on. Fucking <laughs> creepy fucking pedo face. Like, ugh. Pictures. And then we went from there. But there's got to be plenty of pictures of... Yeah, Schmeckle girls are good, dude. These girls are good. And, and you, Love for whatever reason, didn't choose to select a single one of those. Which, well, to me, just doesn't seem like it would be sympathetic to Austin's plate. Well, like I said, it was we were doing it for transgender youth, not specifically for Austin and himself. It was just for transgender youth in general. He, he thought that that would be a way to get more... Uh, more information out there about transgenders period and because of the he, his main issue that he wanted to push was for transgender youth not to, not for himself hmm. okay um I've... but do me do just do me one favor please i've already lost my job over this please leave aaron morris alone drop all the bs with aaron he's already fired me over this he doesn't need any more bad publicity He's run a good business. He's been the best boss I've had in, in years. And he knew over a year ago about my past, and he kept me on because there were no issues. I wasn't causing any issues. Bullshit. Bullshit. You're telling me he kept you on that whole time and then just randomly let you go because of this? Come on, dude. I, I, don't, I don't think I believe that. When you're in a hole, stop fucking digging. Yeah, seriously, dude. Like, I thought Cyrax was bad at digging his own grave. This dude... This dude is something else. It's at work. I wasn't messing with anybody. I wasn't doing nothing. And that's why he kept me on for the last year. Okay, I know that the Chance is raising a campaign of his own to have the guy protested. Um, he feels that he doesn't know how to run a business properly. Um, my boss knows that my boss knows how to run a business. That's why he let me go. Because he knows what this could do to his business. He likes me as an employee. I've done no wrong in the two years I've worked for him. I he have probably didn't know who you were. I've done extra jobs for you him. Probably to help didn't him even tell him going. like what your problem is. I even my vehicle that I own, I bought from my boss because I know his business and I trust him, and he trusts me, and that's why he he knows I'm not going to do anything. He knew I wasn't going to do anything, but it's because of the uh, bad publicity towards his business that I got fired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 sure. He would if it wasn't damaging his business. No, I get no, I get this. Like if, if, but he employed Austin, so you would think he'd be aware of your campaign. No, okay, you're 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 missing. This was that was at that was when I worked with Austin. That was at ABC, not at Morris Auto Detail. Okay, <coughs> two different jobs. Right on. So he branched out. I haven't, I haven't worked. At, I haven't worked at ABC in two years. <clears throat> okay. I quit that job because the owner was fucking with my pay. And then I went to work for Eris about a month later. Oh, sounds like you're crying, buddy. <laughs> He's getting all sad. I have Look no at problem him. being on here and answering your guys' questions because I know, and anybody that knows me, all what few friends I have after being out of prison, I've only been out of prison for six years. Look at that sad face. What friends I do know or that do know me, will stand by me and tell you that I'm not doing anything illegal or wrong. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. That's just like him. That's just like Cyrus. Ask any of my friends. They'll tell you I ain't no pedo. 
I ain't no fucking pedo. That's great. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there anyone who knows Austin? No. No. I've got, I've got family. Anyone I've got family. Yeah. Good point, Elmer. Like, what kind of businessman would take a recently released rapist, a pedophile, at that, and like not even not even try to check into him? Like, what what kind of business is going on down there, bro? I've got my family that uh, family and friends that live around here by me. That, and I'm not going to give any names out because I don't want them being harassed as well. But I've got seven or eight friends that live in the trailer court where I live, and they will stand by me 100 percent because they know I'm not doing anything wrong and I haven't done anything wrong and I'm trying to better my life because of the one mm-hmm. fuck up I did in '94. And because of one mistake, my whole life shouldn't be ruined. It's these fucking trolls. They won't let me get a job. They won't let me do my shit. They keep hacking into my stuff. Fucking trolls, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same shit, same shit, same shit. Um, I admit I admit that I fucked up back in 94. I have had no problems with that. I went through sex offender treatment. I, I went through it for four years, completed it. With with the highest grades I could get in the, in it oh, for doing the homework and everything else that we had to do and apply, applying uh, techniques that they give uh, that they teach us to uh, no longer reoffend and I haven't reoffended I, it's been I've been out of prison for six years been off parole for four years because I am doing good I'm not doing anything like that wrong right now, it just seems weird that you know. How old were you when you, you brutally raped the 14-year-old on the bike path? I, I was 16. I mean, I was 26 years old. Okay. I'm 53 like, now. Right on. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess there are people who argue for the capacity of reform rehabilitation, but I don't know that compiling pictures of kids and sexual positions and with comments – necessarily indicates that and, and i'm sorry for being skeptical um well marty you are entitled to your opinion i will give you that but the truth notice how he notice how he doesn't look at the camera either he's, he's looking off to the left he's looking at the door he's looking all around can't quite look directly in the camera this is the truth and i'm trying to put it out there that's why i'm on here with you right now I mean, I kind of think it's more along the lines of, of self-preservation. That's understandable. Like, I still think you are employed there. It's just, you know, my hunch. Actually, and- I'm, I am not. I got fired today. I got told, do not. I turned in my key today and was told not to come back. Nice. Well, I mean, if this guy fired you over this, then I say, fuck him. Uh, let the people go crazy on Edward Morse <laughs> or whatever his name is. Because if he really, you know, th- saw you as a valuable employee and is a good guy, you said yourself you bent backwards over for him. And the guy just goes and fires you instead of says, okay, well, let's figure out how we can, uh, you know, stop this. And fuck well, him. Well, actually, right? I mean, actually. Let him have it. Okay, let's, let's see it for a second, Smackle Cat. Sure. Because he did tell me that he was going to give me some time off and let this blow over. But when you guys started attacking his star rating on his business, he went from a perfect 5.0 business down to a 4.0, 4.8 overnight because the comments were posted with my name specifically on it. Because it had my name specifically on those comments, that's the reason he let me go. Well, I feel we should drop him down to a 3.8 just for firing you for this <laughs> I mean, I, you know, a little uh, justice for yourself. I like how Marty laughed about going down. down, I say, you know. If it's going to be that, that way. I don't, want, I don't want that for Aaron and his family. He, Aaron has a Aaron has a family that he's got to raise. He's only he's only in his 30s. He's had this business for eight years, and he wants to keep it. He wants to make his life out of it, and I think he deserves it. He's done right by it. I, mean, I don't I'm know, man. That, like, I'm, the one that has the, I'm the one that has the problems. If he's because of my past, it's not Aaron. I'm the one. Yeah, but if he's just willingly hiring pedophiles or just hiring people off the street with zero background checks whatsoever, I, I, I don't know. I would argue maybe he shouldn't have a business, bro. I'm the one that screwed up. I'm the one that went to prison. I'm the one through through this. He doesn't hmm. have to go. Through, he doesn't have to survive through this. I do. Did he know about your background when he hired you? No, he didn't know until a year ago. 
Okay. Because because I don't have to register as a sex offender, I'm not required by law to notify my employers any longer. Now that I'm off parole, I don't have to notify my employers of my past. It's the, the only reason he found out is because I I had talked to him once about. I'm sorry. Um, I think I had something stupid in my ear. Did he say he got out and didn't have to notify employers? Because there's no fucking way that's like. I, Really? I'm stunned you would even attempt that lie, dude. There's no fucking way they would let you out and not make you register. What the fuck are you even talking about? It's about being in jail, and he pushed the issue and kept pushing the issue until I explained to him what my past was. Well, well, he was Sharky, ready, he wanted to fire me then, but I was he considered me such a good employee, he kept me on. And tried to work, look past this. Well, now this has come up. And it, oh, fuck off. I don't care how hard of a worker you were. That is such bullshit, dude. Made it harder for him to keep me on. Wouldn't that come up on a background check, though? He didn't do background check. Oh, well, he fucked up then. <laughs> I mean, he's hiring a pedophile or a fucking well, I'm rapist. Not a, I'm not a pedophile. There's a sure, difference. Well, a I, can see it is... in your eye. I can see it in your eyes, Rupal. You are definitely a pedophile. You remind me of a I, man named Tony. Not, you sound first off, like my name's him. not Rupal. First off, my name is not Rupal. It's Angus. Angus? Yeah, I had my name legally oh. changed five years ago. You said your name is Angus? Uh, real quick, uh, I just got a Twitter notification. Apparently, it's all over right now. Um, apparently, Chance Wilkins um, is dead. I, uh, I I had no idea. I, I just now found out. Um but yeah, I'm lo I'm looking on Twitter right now. Um, let me let me let me pull it up here real quick. Let's see here. Uh, this is this is from totally not Metal Skull. Um, wow, this is this is deep, guys. This is deep. This is heavy. Uh, Chance Wilkins, aka Cyrax, uh, passed away yesterday, March twelfth, twenty twenty two, um, from sepsis. And that's, um, wow. Wow, guys. Wow, guys. Um, well, it's, it's unfortunate to, um, when these kind of things happen, you know, you, you don't wash, you don't bathe for 32 years. And then, uh, the bed bugs finally, they get in, they get into your skin, they get into your brain and, uh, they just, they just kill you. You know what I mean? They just infect you all throughout. So. Yeah, F in the chat uh, for chance, guys. I th if you want, if you you know, if you feel like that. Um, wow, wow, sad day. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and uh, keep talking shit about his dad here. This? No, this I said beef. Angus. Now, oh, don't well, even Angus, right now. like the beef, like the beef. Right, exactly. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna call you. <laughs> Anyhow, as you're an I was not. I was not required pedophile. to. Your son threatened me to wave the gun at me tonight, and he challenged me to a fight. I will be showing up, too. Um, I don't think he really cares about that, to be honest. Um, Edward Morris, or whatever his name is, we'll call him Edward Zach Morris. Morris. I think he's an asshole, and I encourage everybody to lower that to a two-star rating. Fuck him. If he's going to fire you know, a hard-working man fresh out of jail, and he's got a family as well to think about. And you know, if he fires you, I say we get him down to a two-star rating. Fuck him. Uh, you know, crashes, burn his business down to like Connie's house. You know, let's just you know, burn it down. And please don't talk about Connie like that. Connie was the love of my life from uh, from elementary school. We were married for a, a, quite a long time, and her death hurt me hard. Wait, she, she, said died, she died. She died in a house fire that was because How of did a, a start, wood stove. By the way, how did the fire start? Wood a wood stove. She was using a wood stove that didn't have proper piping through the walls. It has. She ran up. She ran a single stove, single wall stovepipe through the walls. No, she was just trying to microwave a cup of noodles and burnt the fucking house down because she's dumb. <laughs> it got too hot and burned down the house. I heard it was on Chance's birthday. Actually, it was on Buddy's birthday. Buddy's birthday. My oh, I, yeah. I heard she fucked up Buddy's birthday cake, so they burnt the house down with her inside of it. Not even close. Oh, no. well, that was don't, just don't, a rumor. Don't even, don't even, don't even start that. Have, don't even start anything bad like that, please. I'm sorry. I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm nice. Uh-oh. Someone's getting mad, guys. Fuck you. No, sorry. I, I, I apologize. Sally Don't said, disrespect my late wife like that, please. Sally said she, she doesn't was, deserve any of this. Sally said she was fully disabled? 
No, she wasn't. Just okay. mentally? She had some mental issues, yes. She had problems with uh, ADHD and uh, I can't remember what the other one was that she had. For sure, But Elmer. she did have some mental issues that made it hard for I her. I miss to me some Schmeckle, man. I miss me the cat. It took me three years to teach her how to drive a car. <laughs> it took her three years to drive I a car. I drive a stick shift, so. Hey, you know what? That's one thing she has over Cyrax, man. At least she went and learned how to drive an actual car, so. You know, good for her. Good for her. It's too bad she birthed the demon hell spawn onto this planet, but, you know, ups and downs, I guess. Were you in productive custody when you were in prison? No, I was not. I was in general population. How are you still walking right now? I've had my fights. I've got my scars. What's but when I, once, I, once I stood my ground and let people know that, and I, I never denied, when I was in prison, I never denied what I was in prison for. That's part of what saved me. I did not deny my case. What's that? Like, what, what's that a- nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. There's no way, like, some big old brother walks up to you like, what you in for? And you're like, well, I kidnapped a 14-year-old off a bike trail and uh, had my way with her. There's there's no way. There's no way you did that. You, you're, you'd be dead. This interview wouldn't be happening. Like, what are you, what are you talking about, guy? You got a what happened? on your chest there. What is that? What's which that, one? I've got, I've got that, one on your left, that one on your left shoulder there. What, on this the, one here? Yeah. That's a Celtic knot with a lion in it. Hmm. Um, were you that big of a loser that you, you couldn't get pussy at 26 so you had to rape a 14-year-old? No, that's that's not what happened at all. And then why did you rape the uh, I, 14-year-old? Yeah, I, I've read... I'm not gonna get it, I'm not going to get into that on, on live video. Uh, it's... In yeah, of course you're not, coward. Evaluated, uh, you know, you, you took her for about. So wait, 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 wait. You can go around and tell fucking prison inmates what you did, but you can't get into this on camera. Fuck off, bro. Fifty feet off of a bike path, you held a t-shirt over her head. Uh, you threatened her life, and then you called the police, saying that the guy looks like you, but wasn't you. But your bike path, or your bike tires lined up perfectly. And there was like a gross preponderance of evidence. Like, it, I, I would love to know what happened if they're getting it wrong. I am not going to go and get into this on live video. Do I have any of the details incorrect? You have some of it incorrect, but. Hey, Wangus, what's your info? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into that uh, right now. It's, it's not what I want to talk about. But it's that's because the courts had it incorrect. So I'm not going to argue that because you're, you're reading the documents correctly. Okay, what aspects? I was I was convicted. I was convicted solely on circumstantial evidence. There was actually no physical evidence. Bullshit. To uh, convict me, I was, but that's neither here nor there. I was convicted. <laughs> I did the time. Horseman. Well, but hang on a second. Wasn't your front and back tire uh, identical? There, I think they were actually different makes and models. Um, they said that they were similar, and but if you also looked in that area where the crime was committed at, there were many bicycles that went that, down there. Not only that, but that was that bike path where that happened at was on my way to work that I went that I rode that bike every day. My tr- bike tracks were going to be there. Right on. Uh, and there was just another uh, guy who was identical to you along the bike path or I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm I'm just telling you. Oh, sorry. My bad. You that I was convicted on circumstantial evidence. They had no definite proof that it was me that did it. Uh, DNA didn't DNA didn't prove it was me. Nothing. But I was convicted on the preponderance of the evidence. There was too much evidence that said it could be me, so I was convicted. And I'm leaving it at that. Huh. That's irrelevant, Marty. It's irrelevant, Marty. <laughs> what? No, oh, sorry, Dad. Get out of here. Um, my, uh, that's the old man. Um, wow. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh yeah i don't know it's pretty it's pretty i'd probably shy away from any type of youth activity or uh anything like that i mean if i had that con- conviction you know, campaigning for any sort of youth it looks i mean there's a guy who also did that his name was jerry sandusky <laughs> do you know who that is uh actually i do know who that is because i'm a football fan there you go oh okay but uh, the the whole thing is, is I have ever since that has that one uh, pro project I did with Austin, I have not done anything, any other project like that, 
I do uh, support the STAR program here in Alaska, which is stand together uh, uh, for rape awareness because of the things that have happened in my past. You just admitted he fucked up in 94, took a class, got the highest grade, never reoffended. Yep. Yep. That's, that's confessing. That's that. Sorry. That's a confession. That is a straight up confession. That is confessing. But yeah, he, <laughs> God, just him and Cyrex, they have this weird way of like trying to wiggle around with their words, but they always like circle back around to incrimination. It's God is astounding. Asked because there are a lot of things you guys don't know about my past, and I'm not going to throw it out there. But there is a I'm lot legit of surprised he hasn't flashed the camera yet. Affect how people live, and it affected my life as well. And because so I have, as part of my treatment and my not a reoffending, I actually donate money to and support the uh, Star Program up here. Um, Chance uh, once asked a friend of mine for uh, nude photos of his uh, deceased. Uh, girlfriend, would it be far of me to ask for nudes of Connie? <laughs> I would shoot you for that. Oh. Well, there you go. I mean, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because uh, I mean, I happen to be that person. And uh, Chance asked me for that, then he accused me of murdering her. How'd you feel? Granted, you were in custody at the time, so you couldn't have murdered her. But how'd you feel if those accusations were uh, were levied your way? I would have been very badly hurt because Connie and I were still madly in love the day she died. Chances threatened uh, uh, our lives as well with a gun and has claimed to have military training. Have you ever taught him how to use a gun or has he ever fired a gun that you know of? I have, My stepfather was in the military. Yeah, exactly. Felons can not, have not guns. Ed, but not my like... step my stepfather that was married to I mean, my... I guess he could still get one, but it, it, it would be a bit... Uh tricky for him and mother when they adopted chance was an airborne ranger and so he most likely does have the knowledge and know-how gotcha but not for me do you okay. have a good i have, not, I have yeah. not physically seen i have not physically seen chance since he was about five weeks old do you have a weapon to shoot me if i were to ask for the nudes no i'm not allowed to oh okay well then may i have nudes of connie <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, I don't have any nudes. I don't have any nudes of Connie anyway. Do you have a picture of her you could show us? Actually, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of the stuff that I had before I went to prison. It's unfortunate. Um, I lost a lot of stuff. Do you ever plan on seeing him, or is it just kind of something that you don't have much of an interest in? And I don't blame you if that's the case. I, I, I saw a chance when I was in Ohio in 2018. I was, I was actually down there for a while. And you, I saw him you, and my mother both. What did you guys do? Just went out to dinner. <laughs> right on. Right on. Was it an uh, apple piece? Uh, no, actually, I don't even remember where we went. It was in Ohio. It was it was in uh, North Canton. Yeah, he doesn't have a good uh, track record at Applebee's, but uh, I mean that's neither here nor there. Um, I don't either. I don't no? either. I worked I worked at Applebee's for three days and got fired. Really. It wasn't because people were leaving bad reviews, was it? No. Actually, it was because uh, the regional manager told me not to talk to anybody about being in prison, and half the employees were... were yeah, he hadn't, he hadn't seen Chance since 2018. Yeah, he was five weeks old. So he, so he just rapidly uh, grew into a 32-year-old. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, it totally checks out. Totally checks out. There were former prisoners. Hmm. And one of the uh, one of the assistant managers asked me where I got my tattoos had done at, and I said on the inside. Well, she went and reported it to the reg regional manager, and I was fired on the spot. You know that's disheartening too. If you'd like to give the uh, address and name of the Applebee's, I'm sure we could lower their rating as well as more. <laughs> no, I, um. no, they they just they just lost my business for the rest of my life. Because they, they, although they, they, they do. They, I mean, you know, Applebee's is pretty expensive, and you kind of, you know, you need a lot of dough to eat there, and uh, you ain't making any, bitch. So, <laughs> do have good food. I will not go in there and eat. Chance is a three thousand year old member. <laughs> I asked him that once. I asked him if he uh, if he sleeps upside down or in a coffin, but he he typically ignores my comments when I'm in his chat. I I don't know that. 
Um, what are your plans moving forward if, now that you're not working at the uh, uh, Morris Auto? Uh, find okay. another job somewhere and uh, keep my, keep it li not listed on Facebook so people can harass me. It's a smart move. Yeah. They're bullying him, guys. I go to work, They're bullying poor Wangus. Do you uh, do you have any plans of going back to Ohio? No, not at this time. I've I've only I was only down there. I was actually working for my aunt that lived in Akron or North Canton, Ohio. Uh, she brought me down there to help her work on her house, but she's since passed away. So I have, yeah. other than my son and my mother, I have no reason to go down there. And they don't usually associate with me until except for the last. The, I haven't spoke to Chance since he was 21. It was the last time I spoke to him oh, other than when, when I saw him in Ohio. Wait, 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 wait. You just said you haven't spoke to him since 2018, right? Did, he said that. He said that, right? Like, I'm not tripping. It's not just all these dabs I'm sitting here doing. Like, he he said that. <laughs> 20, 21? What the fuck are you? That math doesn't add up at all, dude. Like, what are you talking about? In Ohio. If uh, I I'm, I don't I don't want to be hope this isn't a touchy subject, but if your um you know mother were to pass away, do you, would if Chan, you know think he'd come to live with you, or do you, what do you think would happen to him? Because he's got I like you him. know, I couldn't handle him. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. What do you think would happen to him then? I mean, he's what would he do? He refuses to get a job. He's got no money saved up. I mean, do you think he I have no, about that I at have all? No. I have no idea, I've, and I, I haven't thought about that because, to me, I've lost the rest of my family. My grandmother, all of my aunts, my dad have all passed away. The only family I have left is my brothers and sisters and my mom and my son, oh, yeah. and Poor that's you. it. And to think of mom being gone, it's not something I try to think about. I mean, yeah. But it's bound to happen, you know. It's something you, you should like maybe have planned. Well, look at that neck beard, Jesus! <laughs> oh my Before God! Prepared well, for her. well, my my whole thing. Look at that shadow going on. on this right now, and that's just right at this yeah, minute. That doesn't scream. Hopefully, by the time Mom passes away, Chance will get his shit straight and and uh, do something with himself. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, with these, with the videos I've seen the last three days, it's my my hopes on that is dropping drastically. <laughs> but that's what I hope for. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, hopefully, Buddy's doing better than than Cyrax is or Chance. Buddy, Buddy is doing good. Uh, I have no contact with him. Uh, he was adopted by his foster parents when he was five years old, and they live down in the lower forty-eight somewhere. And he refuses any contact with any of our family at all. Yeah, I mean, so you don't have, you wouldn't want to say invest in his musical career or his uh, e racing? I don't know anything about that. And I've heard him sing, and no thank you. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask. <laughs> oh, my God. That's great. That's great. That's great. You hear that, Chance? <laughs> your own rapist, pedophile father not only thinks you're talentless, but he also thinks you're a piece of shit. How, uh, how embarrassing. How fucking embarrassing, bro. Ask if you've heard any of his music. Uh, <laughs> Look at him smirk. Look at that. Well, he knows. Gonna take him, uh, He's heard far, his shit. You know, his music. Have you seen any of his artwork? Actually, I have seen I have seen of his, some of his artwork, uh, it's the abstract stuff, but that's about it. And yeah. he does better than I do, so I can't complain there. Hmm. Cape Fear, that's hmm. great. Yeah, he drew a cityscape that I like fairly recently. Um, huh. Uh, I'd rather not talk any more about fair enough. Chance. This because this whole thing this whole thing is about me. You're right. You're right. Sure. You're right. You're right. Um. This whole thing was about me and my past and what has led to me being fired from my job. That's the only part I want. That's the part I want to clear up. Your dealings with chance is your dealings with chance. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I would say that, that if I, if this was a, a, like a public service campaign to raise awareness for transgender youth and like the pictures of feminized soccer boys are easy to convince is a misappropriation or somehow misconstrued, then then that is my apology for misunderstanding. You know, I, I don't know. It looks, it, it looks kind of strange to me. I'm not going to lie to you. But my opinion, you know, at the end of the day is neither here nor there. It's just my opinion. Yeah. 
Well, like I said, if I could, if I had a way to delete that page off there, it would be it would be gone. But I have no way sure. to delete I'm that. Sure. I've, I've been in contact with Pinterest and I'm everything sure. else, trying to figure out how to get that off of there. I've been trying to get it down for a long time, but I can't. I don't have the password. Would you be willing to show? I don't even. I don't even, I don't even remember the email address that's associated with that page. It's oh. been that long ago. I uh, I don't know. What did they, uh, how did they, we have a person we know, uh, he has uh, issues with 14-year-old girls at the mall. His name is Tony. Uh, what did they do to help you to get over your pedophilia? Uh, first off, I wasn't a pedophile. Oh, he raped a 14-year-old. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? No. <laughs> that got his, that got his fucking juice going. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Stop. Stop right there right, and listen. Right, go ahead. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. At the time I at the time my crime was committed, I did not know the age of my victim. Okay. It wasn't until after I went to trial that I found out the age of my victim. I did not intentionally. Dustin Thomas, thank you for being here. Appreciate it, man. Go after a 14 year old girl. That's what Tony would say. Yeah, that's that's what he says. That's, that's exactly what Tony would like. No, said. that 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 was fact though. Okay. How many four in, in 1994? How many 14 year old girls had 36 uh, D cup tits? Oh my god, bruh! Do I need do I need to say? I don't need to say anything else there. I think uh, spoken like a true, true sick son of a bitch. Um, honestly, I could have just clipped that and played it, and that could have been the. Uh, that could have been the stream right there, you know, and we'd all be home, you know, right now. But uh, I can't believe he fucking said that. I mean, it's not surprising considering who he is, but just on camera, just so blatantly like, oh, my God, dude. I thought Chance was bad at, like, incriminating himself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, did you measure her tits before you, you raped her? No. I mean, how did saw, how did that go about though? Like you were just riding down the bike trail and you just got a hard on. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not going to get into this on live video. This I, I because you guys will play it out there, and I know how you guys do your shit. I've been watching it for the last three days. I'm not going to get into this on video. Well, that's a definite. Uh, so, are you aware of your son's penis problem that he currently has? No, actually, no. I I, I until you guys commented on it on the live stream the last couple of days. I know nothing of his health. Well, he's okay, currently ask, living... I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead, Marty. Can I ask what you were thinking when you when you called the police? Like, it seems like kind of a questionable move. <laughs> that at the time that that phone call was made, my friends that I, were, that I was living with at the time told me that the pic that the picture looked like me, and that I should contact the police and let them know that it wasn't me, and so that's what I did. Hmm. I was back then. I didn't know anything about the law or any, or how the law worked or anything else. I've since l then learned a lot. <laughs> but that is, I mean, it is. I was I was stupid, young, and dumb, and I, I greatly appreciate the fact that he's just he's squirming and he's very uncomfortable right now. This is good, good. Fuck you, fucking demon of a human being. Fuck you, dude. That's all it was. That. I mean, okay. you feel yeah, I know you referred to like your upbringing. And sometimes things cause you to do the things that you do, and I think that's just naturally how it works. You know, um, what was your upbringing with uh, Sally like? Like, was I? I wasn't. What do you? What she do you... she divorced my dad when I was five years old. Uh... I lived with my dad and my stepmother since I was five years old. Hmm. I was... I had not. I lived. I visited with my mother a couple of times over the years, but I was not raised by my mother. So she just kind of like ran off. She got away from my dad. She knew how my dad was. Ah, uh, I see. Hmm. Understandable. Yeah, I think that probably says a lot. Um, I know that he was. I think like about uh, twenty-five, and Sally was, I think, fourteen when. Dude, he's hitting the uh, fuck they, out of that they, vape, bro. They were 10 he years is apart in age, and the reason they got happy. married was because my dad had gotten my mother pregnant. <laughs> so they could so they could get married. 
because they did they did love they, at the time they did love each other. And uh, uh, by today's law, by today's standards, that would be wrong. But back in back when they got together, it wasn't it, it wasn't considered inappropriate for their age difference. It's like Elvis Presley. Yeah, so I mean, I th- oh, we're gonna go with the it was a different time excuse, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jesus. I think. Do you know? Was your dad like twenty five or twenty six or twenty four? I think. Uh, she was. When they got married, she was fifteen and he was twenty five. Oh yeah. Thanks. This is like yeah. something that runs in your family. No. It does, though. It absolutely does, though. One, two, three fucking strikes. Your, your family's out, dude. Like, you guys... It, like, your dad was a pedo. You're a gross pedo. You fucking helped create a pedo. Like, I mean... At some point, you kind of have to consider maybe maybe this does run in our family, or at the very least, there's some kind of underlying thing... This, this cycle of abuse um, that has allowed this to continue. And like, none of you have tried to stop it. You've just, you've tried to cover it up. Sally included. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Y- you all have just protected each other in your gross little fucking circle. And like, none of you have attempted to stop this. Obviously. This is, this is so fucking gross. Oh my God. The Wilkins clan is fucking disgusting. That's that's really, I guess, the point of this stream today. This bloodline needs to be ended. Yeah, yeah yes, 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 yes. These, these people do not need... <laughs> I gotta be careful what I say here. They don't need to exist. They really don't. None of them need to exist. I guess it could kind of be normalized, though, I guess. If you look... If you look at, if you look, actually look at my the history of the age of the women I was married to, two of the three women I was married to were older than me. Connie was the only one that was younger than me, and she was only about three years younger than me. Someone called Van Helsing. That's great. That's great. Um, the real question is: Is it the Hugh Jackman Van Helsing or the original uh, black and white Van Helsing? Which one do you think would fare better? Well, we were best friends from from elementary school on up. Um. Did did any did your other two wives have Von Helton. Any kind of mental problems? Because Chance seems no. to be attracted to girls with uh, mental disabilities for some some strange reason. Um, no, uh, no, I had no, my Connie was the only one that had uh, the problems that she had, and our our relationship was all about the the fact that like I said we've been friends we'd been good friends from elementary school. I used to live right across the street from her and her family, and so I grew up around her. Huh. And to me, her problems weren't her weren't really problems to me. I, I saw past them. Could you please stop showing your chest. Gotcha. He's really trying to take the camera off his face. Yeah, I I, I still think this Aaron uh, Aaron Morris guy just sounds like a real creep. I really want to drop his rating down. I really uh, I just I just really gonna I just wanted to take him down to like a two. He's really I don't like that he fired you, like especially after you bent your back for him, like. I'm gonna get his rating down, man. I know you say not to, but you know, fuck him. I'm Austin, just gonna drop him down. Face of the earth, like there's no. I mean, I'm not saying that like they need to be investigated or put on blast or anything, but like there's no way that anyone can confirm. I mean, they're not doing they're not doing background checks over there. I mean, who knows what you know what type of uh, you know sh- like you know rebel rousers he's got working over there. Uh, Actually, I know I know 90 percent of his employees personally before they worked for him. And the ones I do know don't have a criminal background at all. They're most well, most of the people work most for the people most of the people that work for him right now are in their uh, early twenties. I mean, well, like from I, uh, nineteen to twenty-five. I have a feeling you might. Be, have, I have a feeling you might be running a few into a few of them at the uh, unemployment office and the TEP agency, Ruble. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'll call me Ruble. Why? Isn't that because your name? it's not my name. My name is Angus. I had my name legally changed because I'm trying to leave my past behind me. You were trying to run away from your fucking reputation is what you were trying to do. I talked to my family about it before I did it. They agreed. I did my time. I did everything I was supposed to do. I mean, I'm trying to, to live your my name, life but with me. 
mean, it's, you can change your name, but the fact that you're a pedophilia rapist isn't going to go away. I mean, it's still there. Uh, you're looking at kids, like young kids dressed up as, as women. I mean, it's kind of, uh, I mean, it's still there, man. It's definitely there. You can read all the books you want. You can you can try and brainwash it. Tell the parole board what they want to hear. But, I mean, come on, man. Let's be real with each other. If there was a 14-year-old in front of you right now, you'd get off this stream and you'd fuck her. No, I wouldn't. Or you make her suck your dick or whatever your whatever your kink no, is. No, I wouldn't. You would do it. No, I wouldn't. I believe. I you would, would not do anything like that. You, you definitely. I would. have a I have I have a girlfriend. I don't need to go for young girls. I don't go for young girls. I believe yeah. that you pretend that there's a that you probably pretend that they are. You um you know make them dress up in the school. Fucking get outfits. him, Schmeckle. Uh, get him. Whatever, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Rage Ruble, go fuck yourself, you rapist. <laughs> Pedophile rapist. <laughs> Fucking faggot. Unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Not not Wengus, but Schmeckle, the way he fucking handled them. That was gorgeous. Oh my god, what a sick fuck. That's crazy. Yeah, no, that was the first time I watched it all the way through. Um... Holy shit. What a gross bunch of fucking people. So what I'm going to do real quick, guys, uh, I'm going to take a, a quick couple minutes. I'm going to play, play this track one more time. <laughs> and I shall be right, right back. I'm not going to edit or anything like that. We're just going to take a quick couple seconds here. I'm a hustler by nature. It's in my blood. Steady chasing this paper and rolling dubs. Out of sight, and I'm all swagged up with a red and green stripes. Hopping out of plane, out of town flights. Yeah, seems like I must have done some right. Like I'm on the block, people on my pro dog waiting in the line, and that was all so. Yeah, we already played that one earlier. Nope, nope, stop it. Stop it, you. Stop it. I'm look for something else here. <laughs> Jesus, so... I guess... What, what could you even say, man? What could you even say about any of that? Um, I guess that hasn't already been said, right? I mean, these, these people are gross. They deserve all the fucking horror movie franchise. Um... Really fucked up shit. Why does this keep playing? <laughs> I'm a hustler by nature, in my blood. No, you're not. Can't believe Chan still trying to get away with that shit. Let's see what else we got in the old playlist here. Steady chasing this paper and rolling dubs. Sight, and I'm all swagged up with a red and green stripes. Hopping out of plane, out of town flights. Yeah, seems like I must have done some right. Like I'm on the block, people on my pro dog waiting in the line. And I was all sold out. Catch me on the island, we can't get away. Plus, a shorty that knows how to make it stay. All these jewels on me, I stay iced out. Keep it chilly during summer when I ride out. See me live on stage, just rocking the crowd. I got it locked down. Say no doubt after party in the club VIP cause I'm an MVP on the MIC I know what they want, I know, I know what they want They wanna top drop music up, windows down, G's up I know what they want, I know, I know what they want They wanna top drop music up, windows down, G's up I know what they want, I know, I know what they want They wanna top drop music up, windows down, G's up I know what they want, I know, I know what they want They wanna top drop music up, windows down, G's up I know what they want. I know. I know what they want. They want the rage, brother. They want the Cyrax rage. That's what they want. And by God, that is what they shall receive. Sorry, I don't know what that was. I apologize. <laughs> okay, let's bring this back up real quick. Let's take a look at uh, some dust smoking hippie stuff, huh? Just to close it out. I think we'll go for about another 
about another 45, give or take. I try to keep it around two hours. So is that my fault too? Do I? 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 Do what now? What? I hate that so much. Do what? Yeah. No one even asks them to do anything, but they don't hear them. Do what? Yeah, right. Right, right, right. I've heard Sally do it, so, so I know that's where he gets it from. And like I said, I do understand that a lot of you guys might not be, you know, a big fan of me given, you know, the circumstances and what happened. But hopefully, you know, like I said, you know, I can turn you guys into supporters. I can show you guys that I'm not that bad guy that I'm being made out to be. And hopefully, you know, through my newer videos that are coming out that, you know, I'm doing now, hopefully I can show you guys that I'm a chill person, like straight up. Hand it over, bitch! Cyrax! Hand it over! Cyrax! Marty! Cyrax! You have no fucking soul, you gutless faggot! Hey, Marty, you want to see insane? How would you like it if I drink your blood after slitting your throat, bitch? Now that would How would you like if I drink your blood in front of your family? <laughs> you wouldn't like that, would you? So, Marty, if you want to live, I, we, we can play a little game. We can okay. play a little game. It's called exposing you for the monster that you are. Okay. You're a spineless, gutless coward who can't take no for a fucking answer. Well, You're you mad at the fact that I turned you down. That's all this has ever been about. And you know it, Marty. That's all this has ever been about. The fact that I turned you down. That's all this has ever been about because you want me so fucking bad that you can't stand that I turn you down. If I can't gain from him, then he will get nothing, okay? Well, I'll say this. If Sarek doesn't want to cut in on his activities, then... He isn't going to make anything. He could take 0.5% of 10 million, or he can eat hot pockets until he is homeless, until he is in a homeless shelter. Fuck him. It's about making bank. I want it all. Cash rules everything around me. He can die in a ditch and eat mud for all I care if I can't make that bank. He is my personal property. He is my slave. He belongs to me. Because I always get my way. I don't just want his activities and like the stuff I do for money. I want everything about him. Everything. Every part of him. And I will stop at nothing. We belong together, together forever. Till death do us part. He should just accept his fate. We can live a great life together. We can do it the easy way or the hard way. Now, this is where things get disturbing, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder what he tastes like. I made a move on him by asking him to show me how to make a marker disappear. When he rejected him, I lost my cool. Yeah, for a period of time, I was trying to uh, uh, get Cyrax to become a magician. Uh, well, I, th I think actually what happened was uh, I, I asked him like how he was able to make like the marker fully disappear in his ass. And he said like he didn't actually shove it up his ass, that it was just like a magic trick. Uh, and then I guess it got a little steamy. <laughs> I asked him if he could tr teach me how to do that trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he abruptly hung up the phone call. Woo! But yeah, he said that like a lot of the penis torture stuff was, he actually wasn't doing it, but like it looked pretty real, dude. Like it looked, it looked it's very smart. Convincing. He's a sleight of hand. He's a little David Copperfield. He isn't just my employee, but he is my lover. We don't always get along, but it doesn't matter because I always get my way. I don't just want his money. I want everything, yada, yada, yada. Sometimes I wonder what that Billy dude had that I did. Right on, Sharky, for you sure. Appreciate it. Me. I did not touch you. You got your story backwards. You raped me, and I remember it completely.
How can I get him to like me? He likes you, but I'm too into him. Ha <laughs> ha, okay, LOL. Does that ring a bell, Marty? Does that ring a bell? Well, yeah. Oh, I'll I think it. it does. Let me tell you exactly how it's going to work, Marty. I'll tell you how it's going to work because you are my personal property. Oh, wow, 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 wow. We'll take turns talking. Wow, wow. <laughs> well, you know, stop fucking muting me, motherfucker. You did threaten stop her kids. Stop fucking muting me. You did threaten her kids, Sir X. Actually, no, I did not. You did. You did. Hey, let me tell you, Marty, I apologize to her for that, you manipulative little bitch. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Marty, just shut the fuck up. All you do is They're scream, muting me because you don't want to hear the truth. You threaten kids and you're a sex pest. Wow. No, I'm not a sex offender, you stupid motherfucker. I said sex pest. Oh, really? Says the one who says he wants to fuck me. So what if I do? Uh, no, I don't want to be with you. What's I don't what? want anything to do with you. Fine. You're a psycho, Marty. I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> well, it's 2021, That's right. No, Marty, this ain't funny. Do you guys see how he really is? Do you guys see now what I mean? This man's a psycho. I did not ask for you to bully me all these years. I did not ask for you to do this to me, Marty. You did. You did, no, sir. I did not. You approached me. I did not approach you. You found me. I did not find you. I in no way at any time asked you, hey, Marty, please bully me for several years. I did not ask for you to do that. Shout out to William. Shout out to William for that funny video, dude. Absolutely love it once again. Super, super hilarious. Absolutely love it, dude. Keep that keep that funny stuff up. I love it. I enjoy it. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> I have uh I've never turned. Uh so let's see here. Dude, love the dust smoking hippies. I'm sure you guys already have, but if you haven't, please go like, share, and subscribe. It's amazing work over there. Let's see, where were we here? I enjoy the funny videos that you're putting out, dude. For the last seven years, he has literally been harassing me. I've tried blocking him. I've tried, I've filed many reports on him in the past. Is that this guy famous? Uh, he goes by the name Music. Well, is there anything that we can do to stay silent? Because honestly, I like, really. <laughs> This war is over. It was over. You know, I find it uh, I find it interesting. Anytime the cops show up to his door, specifically the cops, um, he tends to clam up a little bit. You know, he gets he gets a little angry. He gets a little upset. You know, when they tell him to fuck off, but he always seems to be able to control himself a little better. Which uh, I, it, it's funny considering how much he loses control when he's by himself in his attic and nobody with uh, <clears throat> guns or badges happen to be around, you know what I mean? Yeah, he, he can absolutely control himself. He has the ability to do it. He just chooses not to. I, I always found that kind of funny. Over last night, this war is done. And you need, to accept that. you need to accept that, Marty. The I'm war is over. Way, accept it, Marty. It's over. It's over, Marty. Does it look like it's over? Oh, yeah, it does. Because I'm ending it right now with oh, these very words. Word. This oh, war is over. It's over, over Marty. Why do you get to decide it's over? Over. It's over, Marty. Why do you get to decide it's over? This war is over. Let it go. Move on. Find someone else to go after. Oh, are there any other pedophiles to threaten kids? Leave me alone, Marty. Marty. Any other pedophiles? Leave me alone, Marty. Strangle their grandmothers? You'll never call the cops. You're oh, really? Yep. Mom, what's the number? You won't call the cops. I oh, I watch me. I got the goddamn house phone right here, pal. You won't do it. I, I got won't. the motherfucking house phone right here. You don't have the balls. Watch me. Watch me. You don't have the balls, Cyrax. Oh, really? Me. Watch me. I'll speaking. be right back. Leave me on here. Don't take me off panel and don't mute me. You're not actually going to do it. Oh, really? Watch me. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you will, Cyrax.
It's all bluster. Yes, uh, my name is Chance Wilkins. Um, is there a officer that I can speak with? I told you I was going to call the police, and guess what? I did, didn't I? What yeah, did I think I did, didn't I? The chat knows I did. Everyone else knows I did. So don't even push it, pal. You said I wouldn't call the cops. I did show up. I did call the cops. Don't Imagine you having me go. Oh, uh, no, shut up, Marty. I was speaking. Okay. Imagine being harassed and bullied by these people for two fucking years and having your life threatened, your family's lives threatened, having all these nasty, nasty, disgusting things like literal dog shit and sex toys sent to your fucking house. How did you, you shove pens up your ass? Like, so you would think a sex toy would actually be something that you could make use of instead of having to defile writing instruments. Marty. Stop muting me. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the people that are in the chat. Okay. All right. But I can speak to you. Marty, no buts. No buts. <laughs> okay. Imagine getting sent that stuff over two years every day. Imagine having to be put through that every day, day in and day out. Imagine losing your. I'm sorry, this has been going on for a long time. You sexually assaulted a blind kid when you were in high school. And that's irrelevant to this. But it's totally relevant, Cyrax. It's totally relevant. Relevant, Marty. That's irrelevant. <laughs> That's not what this does. I uh, just want to take this opportunity again, one more time, to uh, uh, give my condolences to uh, Sally and Ed for the uh, the passing of Cyrax today. Again, this was seen on Twitter <clears throat> by um, Totally Not Metal Skull. Uh, confirmed, Cy Cyrax has passed. So once again, sorry, Sally. Sorry, Ed. Uh, Person, person, good, good vibes and good thoughts and whatnot. It's about that's not what this is about. What, what type of person sexually assaults a blind kid? Let dogs lie, Marty. Let lame dogs lie. Leave the past and the fucking past with that shit. That's not what this is about. Give me my shit back, nigger boy. I'm gonna put a in your fucking head. That ain't no joke. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. All that matters is that I held up my end of the fucking deal. Do I seriously have to give my fucking family up here to tell you themselves to give me my goddamn shit back? Because I you won't do it. You won't do it. You're not gonna there do it. There you go again, Marty. You're not gonna do it. I know. Dude, he went super fucking lizard eyes on that one. He was like, <laughs> yeah, nothing is there. Shit on like always, you punk I'm not, sure. I'm not worried about Always it. trying to egg shit <laughs> on, ain't you kidding? Always trying to egg shit on like You're a not gonna do it. I'm gonna be a tough guy. Nigga, I can knock your ass up, bro. You're in a wheelchair. You, you want to talk religion? Yeah, Find I do, it. nigga boy. Right the fuck here, pussy. You use religion like Whoa. a bitch. Wait, what was that? Seven times nine. That's none of your motherfucking business. <laughs> but what is my business is you. Dude, I, Marty, I got a sample shut that. your fucking mouth and leave people the fuck Mommy, alone. Mommy, I'll be in 10 minutes. I so need to cold. I can't burn my mouth. So why don't you leave people the fuck alone, Marty? Heather, this guy was Seriously. Like no, shut the... Anytime you fucking want to get the smoke and get these hands shoved down your goddamn throat, then show the fuck up. Hey, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. If you had to do what you had to do, that's all I did. I did what I had to do to get out of the fucking house. That's all I fucking did. Did I strangle her? No. I put my hand around her neck to move her the... To this day, I will never understand how Heather didn't just body slam him. Just straight up tombstone him into Sally's fucking coffee table or some shit, bro. Like... I'll never understand it. Fuck out of the way so I can get the fuck um, out and go calm down. Man. There is nothing wrong with that, Marty. I did. Sorry, X, you blacked out and you strangled her and you. Dude, we all saying. saw it. We all saw In it. In your own words, you just readmitted to it, dude. Come on yeah. now. Come on, dude. Leave us alone now! Or else, war, were you gonna kill me? I doubt that. <laughs> Eric, you were trying to murder me an hour and a half ago. Well, gee. Every, everything I say just decimates What's that jersey? That's why you can't respond to it. What is that? Man, dude. Team is I decimate you every time. I'm owning you on your own channel right Can you spell decimate? 
can you spell go fuck yourself, you fucking reject? <laughs> you'll be capable of, of harnessing this rage even for a moment and start to make some decisions that are in your best interest. Do, do, do you want to start doing that for what one doing? Is, it, is that what he does to Ed's balls? What is that? The only <laughs> question that I have for you is why is it that you and Schmeckle Cat can't just go fuck yourselves and burn in fucking hell? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're not my mom. You're not my dad. No, if I if I was your mom, you wouldn't have turned out like this, sir. I should tell you that much. Hey, Marty, if I was your dad, I would have killed you a long fucking time ago. Cyrex, I, I would have put your ass in the fucking grave. Marty, let me right tell now. you right the fuck now. The everything you're doing, everything you're doing, this blackmail shit is a crime. But if you had paid attention to what I had said on Courtney's panel earlier tonight. You know what? How'd you hear about Tyler? Believe it or not, I found out from Marty. There were some people in your Discord group talking yeah. about it. Fox is saying that he got fucking hit by a car, dude. Like, he actually got... Really? Hit. Yeah, Which, hit and run. That shit does definitely happen. Oh, yeah, definitely. And that, like I said, you know, that if it is real, you know, that definitely does suck. Like, I was gonna say, how do you feel about it? Like, I know, you... people have been asking me that all day, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, on one hand, it definitely sucks because you know, he was so young, but also at the same time, it's like this dude's been fucking with my life for so long. So, yeah. on the same token, it's like I don't have to deal with that anymore. So, it's definitely very weird, yeah. But yeah, I figured it was kind of weird. I don't know. Why well, yeah, we all gotta die at some point, right? Yes, I am glad that Tyler is alive. It's not. I wasn't being cocky or anything. You seemed like you were in a great mood. That's all I'm gonna say. When, when we all found well, out you, you were all happy, and, and and I know it seemed like that, but also you kind of have to look at it from my, my point of view, because on one hand, yes, Tyler is alive. That's great. Now, when, you know, I was initially told, when I was initially told that he had passed, yeah, I it, it sucked. Because, you know, somebody passing away, that's always going to suck. But on the same token, this is somebody that has, you know, bullied me. So it was definitely very weird. Like, I didn't know how to feel at that time because on one hand, somebody that was super young just lost their life. But yeah, on the other hand, that same right. person yep. was someone that has, you know, screwed me quite a bit. So it was it was definitely very conflicting for sure. Hey, Tyler. Every single day and night, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. All these motherfucking faggots trying to tell me that I need to end my life. I won't do it because I realize that I'm the demon king of this underground and the Tupac of this generation, bitch. Damn, oh, coming of with the fire. Can you do the, uh, I mean, Sarek showed his whole range tonight, though. Can you do the entire menu? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. know. Well, let's go. I, I don't know what to do every single day. These people tell me that I need to kill myself, but I won't <laughs> do it. I will not give in. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go. I'm gonna let Cyrax's words speak for me. All you do is run and mock and mock yeah. and mock, motherfucker. Well, guess what? I'm fucking tired of you, bitch ass nigga. And now I, you will admit, I was, I will admit, I was wrong in doing that, but you have to understand. Stop, stop the video for me. Marty, pause the video for a second, all right? I want to answer Strawberry's question. Marty, pause the freaking video, dude. That's, a, I that's was an amazing shot right there. What I said to you, yes. But you have to understand, Marty. Hey, how you doing? Hi, champ. Hey, what's going on? How what are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah doing pretty good. How about yourself? Been a huge fan of yours. Been watching you for about five five months now. It's really great to talk to you. Hey, How did you not tell that Schmeckle? How long you watch? Obviously, Schmeckle. Yeah. About, about, about five months. Uh, I've been really enjoying his streams lately, his assertiveness. And, uh, yeah, I think he's just a handsome guy. I just had a really quick question for Chance. 
Why does that sound like a dude? Why do you fear like Schmeckle because oh, you're a fucking God. bitch, you fucking yeah. faggot? Why do you fear me? Yeah, Why you'll fall for anything, you? won't you? You fucking sex deprived you, pussy bro. bitch. Yo, Yo, get, 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 here, bro. get rid of his ass, dog. That was slick. <laughs> that was slick. That was pretty good. All right, all right, man. All right, Schmeckle, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. You pulled one of my tricks. Do I not get in the love? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. He's looking at me like an alien's coming out of the spit. Hello. What? Oh, <laughs> back. Well, point being, Marty, I hey, don't. Hi. Where are your social graces? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, strawberry. What do you mean? I actually did agree on the ten minute thing with you because I actually found out last night I did want to keep the secrets. The my girl here actually talked to a cosplay company, and I was actually flying out there to California on what was it, the 14th? Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the 14th to start doing some shoot stuff. So, wait, on the 14th? Yeah. T wait, today's the 14th. No, actually, okay. okay, 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 okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Keep the conversation on. Um, yeah, but. Very, yeah. Very 10 minutes in now, babe. So, yeah, so uh, the congratulations, yeah, hey, thanks, man. Marty, let me tell you, man, you can call me old school, call me what you want. I don't give two fucks what you call me, just don't call me late for dinner, bitch. Oh, did Sally just come up with that for you? But just saying, Cyrax, you, you cheat on oh. everybody you're with, you use the hard, hard word. You are racist. You are not work. He's never racist. Fucking dude. You steal work. You steal. Nobody gives a fuck. Shut up. Is he admitting to it? Like, you know, when he accused him that, he's like, "Well, you freaking do." I guarantee you, Tyler. You keep this shit up. I promise you, you will end up Bubba's bitch. And it ain't gonna be by not him or anybody else's. It's gonna be because you getting yourself in trouble. Have a she nice life being Bubba's bitch. Look in the mirror, bitch. Look in the eye and I am a faggot. I am a faggot. I am a faggot. I am a faggot. I am a wannabe. My name is Scout Kid. I am a faggot. I am a faggot. I am a faggot. I am a faggot. Do you want to know something? Do you want to know the truth about why I haven't made any money on my shit, Marty? It ain't because of my stupidity. It's because of stupid little bitches like you, Tan, Schmeckle, every motherfucker that's ever come after me holding me the fuck back. Well, guess what, nigga? Ain't happening no more. Guess what, nigga? You know, that's what makes Cyrex entertaining. It, it, is his belief system. Yeah, sure he's a goofy looking guy. Um, sure his life's a joke. Uh, sure he's a fucking idiot and, you know, doesn't know his times tables and, and, and all of that. But to me, it's always been his belief system that captivated me. Um, so, I mean, that's Cyrax. That's what makes him him, you know? And uh, I mean, it gets a little old after a while. And I, and I gotta say that, like, you know, it's 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 ran its course, but his belief system will always endlessly fascinate me. Yeah, he's a, he's a fascinating guy. Somebody long enough. Do I? Do what? <laughs> I don't know. I can't give him too much shit for do what. I uh, I do that more often than I should. To be <laughs> to be perfectly one hundred with you guys. Um, let's see. Oh, that's the second one. I think I watched that. So is that my fault too? I think we watched that already. I'll check out one more here. I have a little bit of time. Once again, we've been streaming on. Uh, actually, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but we're on uh, YouTube, Twitch. Uh, there is a Discord if you guys are interested. Uh, links are in the chat. And uh, no, it's been it's been fun, man. I just honestly, you guys have. Uh, you made this a really cool community, man. Like, um, you guys uh, coming by, liking, sharing, all that good stuff. And even even if you're just coming by and watching, man, I, uh, I absolutely appreciate it. You guys have taken this page and you've turned it into something, like, really special. You know what I mean? Like, when I first started this, I was like, 
you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to make fun of this idiot just for fun and whatnot. And just kind of just have a little fun with it. But then like <clears throat> people started subscribing and liking and it got bigger and bigger. And we're, I'm sitting at here like last I checked, it was like 77 subscribers, man. I, I had no idea that it was going to take off as quick as it did. So no, I just wanted to thank you guys real quick. Um, you guys made it what it is. So very, very much appreciative. Do, 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 do. Ah, yes, the double whammy. This one's funny. Yeah, we'll go ahead, go ahead and remember Chance the way, uh, probably the best way possible, which is throwing racial slurs, <clears throat> jumping up and down in his attic at 3 a.m. and screaming at the top of his lungs, and of course whipping his dick out. It's uh, it's the best way to remember him here. So here we go. Do, 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 do. Oop, we're like a quarter way through here already. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be a POS, please. You're like, you whipped your penis out in front of me like countless times. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. I, I want to I wanna confess something here. Um, What's up? The, the week... Oh. Wait a minute. And then I was... Aware. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Like you whipped Technical your penis in front of me like countless times. Yeah, right. Yeah, I I want to I want to confess something here. Um, yeah, he's drinking the sludge. The, the week, and then I was away Ew. from live streaming. I didn't even have a strike. I wanted you to believe that whipping out your penis gave you some sort of power over people, um, which was kind of <laughs> sick and depraved on my end. But like, you just seemed really so excited, you know, with it, and you know, I'm, I'm sorry for that. I guess I. He's a little disappointed, like. It's it's kind of funny. Like, I like to compare. Excuse me, sorry. Um, like when he switches between um, like cool Cyrax, everything is going my way, to like asshole Cyrax. There's always like this. It's about a ten second window where he has to sit and compute exactly what is happening right now, right? And and then he goes into like the rage and whatnot. He's not he's not going to do it here because he's. You know, he's still kind of building. you building the rage, but, um, and trying to be cool. But it's funny. And then, like, I was watching, uh, Heather, Heather Colonna, her, uh, that thing where she was all gushing on Marty again. And, uh, or not that video, sorry. The one where, uh, she said she had cancer. It was that one. And how quick she can switch between, like, trying to garner sympathy and, like, losing her fucking mind. And I was just thinking, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Like they, they switch so often and they can switch very quickly, but it's just Heather can do it. So fucking so much faster. It's crazy. And Cyrax, he kind of, he kind of needs a second to compute like this face here. He's, he's fucking like, uh, look, <laughs> ah, look at your face. Look at your face. We, you know, we ah, you're, so good. Like, you're, you're, dude, you're totally good. Ah, uh, yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fuck all you guys, nigga. You got a kid and you know it. You got us. Hey, better yet, suck my dick. This fucking elf. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, all right. Hey, Marty, what's the matter? You got pissed off that I got your feet? He had his glowy oh, headphones on, too. That's funny. Yep. Suck it, nigga. Suck it, bitch. Oh no. Suck it, bitch. What's the matter? Hey. Kiss my ass, nigga. How could a man with so little testosterone be so goddamn hairy? Like how how is that the case? I don't understand it. I don't understand. I can lose all fucking not right. so Marty. Suck it, you nigga. Shit out of your head, not from fighting. Yeah, well, guess what? Yeah. Well, guess what, Marty? Yeah. You can't kill. Look, right here. Sir, it's my ass, baby. <laughs> Come on, nigga. I'll do this all fucking night. I don't give a fuck. Marty. Yeah, it's because you have fun exposing yourself. You look for literally any excuse to do so, bro. Marty. I know you are. Suck my dick. Tostitos. Nice. Got me there. I think he got me there. <laughs>
Mark, 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 what's the matter? Yeah. You can't yeah. handle it? You can't handle you it, You want to suck a dick? What's the matter? You can't handle my dick? You want to suck a dick? You can't handle my dick, nigga? You pissed? You scared? It's genuinely disturbing how much fun these two had with this. Like, Chan, you, like you can hear Chance, like he's smiling when he, when, he's, when he's talking. You can hear the smile in his voice, and Marty's just laughing his ass up. They had a lot of fun with this game. Like, <laughs> oh, by the way, Marty, I got a little present for you. It's called "Suck My Dick, Nigga," because you ain't shit. By the way, Marty, suck. My dick. <laughs> Dude, that fucking Oh god. I just I always picture him like falling on his ass, just like suck my dick. <laughs> just fucking bust his ass on the fucking floor. <laughs> oh, I love it. Suck my dick. <laughs> suck my dick. I'll hold here all night. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we know you will. We know you will. I would hate to think that, like, you know, we're encouraging him to whenever he gets in a problem with people on the internet. So remember, <laughs> is to just whip his dick out. It's the problem solver. Yeah, he's he's done it at least, I would say, like, or tried to a dozen times today. Oh, my God. I'm not the one to be tangling with, sweetheart. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't, don't talk about it, that's directly about it. Go do it. Oh, Marty? Go do it. Suck my dick. <laughs> I'll sit here and I'll do right, look right here. Look, hands up. What the fuck is the point of that? Here, right here. Look, look. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Just, just look. I got something to show you. After he just fucking flashes, he actually thinks that's gonna like work. I mean, and it does, but only because Marty, you know, only because he's having fun too. But like, oh my god, <laughs> I always love that. Just right here, right here. Look, man. Look, man. I'm not going to do anything, bro. Okay, okay. You have to jump in order to show it. You have to jump hey, in order to show it. Start running! <laughs> what? What? Right here, right here. What? What? Okay, hands up, hands up, hands up. Yeah. I got two words for you. What? What? Right here. Hold up. Hands up, sir, Rex. Hands up, right here. Start running! Get my ass, bitch. <laughs> no matter, Marty. You have pissed off. You're too slow, sir. You're too slow. Hey, Marty. Yep. Kiss my ass. You're too slow. Hands up. 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 Hands it's just, hey, Marty, hey, Marty. Like, he's absolutely just, y you can see it coming from a mile away, thankfully. Thankfully. Um, God, he's an idiot. What the fuck? Deranged fucking sex pest. <laughs> Sarah, you're, you're really bad at this, dude. You're just yeah, really that's bad you're at this. Hey, Marty, look. Right here, look. You know what? See, he doesn't get to say shit like, I don't like having to come up here. You think I like being angry? You think I like doing these, uh, getting up here and be? He does though, especially when it involves whipping his penis out. Like, thank fucking raw. He hasn't done that in like a while, but like, he enjoys this. He loves this shit, dude. He lives for this. He has no life outside of this, and he can't just sit there and pretend like he does. Like this, he can't pretend like the trolls aren't his life. He can't pretend like Marty isn't his life. He absolutely loves this shit. What? Okay, okay. Yeah. No, you're too close. You're too close. You're too close. Oh, to my dick, nigga. Just, no, no. Man, I'll stay here. After this, I will leave for good. Okay. All right? Do not put the camera on you or anything. I just want to okay. do one thing. All right? Yep. You have to, no, no. Do not. <laughs> Grab this. I have to have you work like you will not. I can't make that promise, I Yes, you can. Yes, the fuck. This is what the fuck he's pointing at the camera and he's like, you will not stop me from showing my dick on stream. Like you, you will not do that, sir. You do not have the right, sir. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is this? Don't, don't do it, Marty. 
Don't stop me from flashing the camera, man. Fuck, you can't. Hang on, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Can we talk about this in one second? No. We're not. We're not. Let him go take like a piss real quick. I gotta stay here instead of going to the bathroom, okay? Alright, okay. Alright, alright. All right. Yep. Alright, Marty. You're, you're so stupid, Cyrax. How do you even. How do you even breathe? Like, you're seriously, how do you remember to breathe? You're such an idiot. So this is, this is what it's coming to. It's like a cat in a camel cat and mouse. <laughs> and he's just sitting there stroking it off, and then he's got to back away. I like that he's putting his hands up like, Marty, I'm sorry. I think that. Okay, I, gotta, I just got another email from YouTube. It says that the room is not well lit enough to really discern what's on the screen. Well, that's good, thank god. Right, the, the algorithm can't pick up on his fucking tiny infected peen. It just, just can't. <laughs> it can't fucking. He can't understand what it's looking at. It's like, what is this? Today, sir, I actually weren't the quickest gun in the last, and for that reason, my channel remains. Fuck me over, right, Marty? Well, suck it, bitch. <laughs> fucking suck it, bitch. Fuck me over, little boy. Fuck me over. Hey. Hey, Marty. Hey, look, look, look. Hands are up. Look, look. Look. His hands are up as he's, like, trying to flash the stream. Hey, look, look, Marty, right here. Look. See, hands are up, right? Sarah, I can take nudity. No, look, look. Right here. Look, Marty, look. See, right here. You can't see the other Can't see the other word. Look my dick, bitch. Got your ass, bitch. Got your ass. Damn it. Can't Yo, see fuck you, Marty. Yo, you did not cut me. You did not cut me. Thirty-two years old. Thirty-two. I I don't even know where I. Where do you even start with this kind of? Okay, 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 okay. I'll say. Uh, D Rivera, thank you for being here. Appreciate it, man. Well, um, creepy that he goes suck it, little boy. Yeah, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? That's fucking weird. He's a sucker little boy. That's ugh. Fucking ugh. I didn't even notice that. Like, you totally pointed that out. Like, spot on. Spot on. That's oof. I, I, but like that. <laughs> what okay, okay, okay. Let's let's break this down real quick. What goes through the mind of a 32-year-old man who is is in a corner, he doesn't know what to do, he doesn't know where to go. He's been He's been uh, caught, right? He's about to be exposed, you know, with a video or some kind of evidence. And then something sparks in his head, right? To, like, whip his dick out. Now, I don't know any animals in nature that do that. I don't know if that's, like, a defense that you would find in the wild or something like that. Like, if a fucking, like, orangutan gets quartered or, like, a tiger, he just flips over on his back. Ah, suck it, bitch! But, like... <sighs> I, I'm trying to think of like, like what the fuck happened to this guy? Like what the fuck happened to this guy to make him think that that's okay. And, and we know why he's doing it. It's specifically to get the stream taken down. Right. But like normal people like you or I, Sheev Palpatine, what's up, man? Thank you for being here. Um, a bullet. That's <laughs> like, what happened to this dude? Like, I kind of wonder, like, he was probably, and yeah, he, he probably was essayed in his in his youth or whatnot. And that's terrible, you know, it's terrible when that happens to anybody, but that's kind of what I'm going with. Like, he, I don't even, I don't even know how to describe it, guys. Like, there has, like, what's the starting point? What's the starting point from, like, I'm cornered to, okay, whip my dick out, fucking get this shit taken down. That's that's not normal. It's not normal, Cyrax. I can't even understand what would what kind of neurons have to fire for that to even be a thought, dude. Or like what kind of terrible shit you had to go through for you to think that's okay. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm still here. I'm. St <laughs> and let's be clear, that is in no way, shape, or form a defense of his actions. I'm just saying, he's yeah, he was probably assaulted. And he thinks this is normal, and it's yeah, sad, but fuck you, Chance. Wait, 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 Cyrax! I need to see your hands this time. I need to see your hands this time. Okay, Cyrax, Cyrax! I need to see. I need to see your hands Lord, this time. Dude, they're right here. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
I don't like don't worry, don't worry, I'm not doing it. 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 Oh, Sorry, I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I'm just telling you, okay, I'm not you just did though. You just did. Jeez, 43, 43 thoughts. Hashtag 43 thoughts. Got your ass, bitch. I've got you, Marty. You faggy ass little pussy. You ain't jack shit, nigger lover. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Video was in evidence. Oh, the video wasn't of evidence. No, don't get. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 Fucking Cyrox losing his shit right there. He starts to rap over him, and he's losing, and he's like, Ah, I'm gonna show my ass. Like, what the f- You got that hand on your hand. Stop it. You lost. What happened? Hey, Marty. Hey, Marty, I hope you don't mind this. And I hope that you can get Troy down for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, so. Sarks. No, hold on. No, Marty, I want her to see me. No! Sarks. No. Hey, 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 he really needs to put that in a song just like he would that's just how the song would start it'd be like this big crowd chant suck my dick suck my dick and it would you know kind of like we will rock you just dun 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 you know what i mean that'd be great and then it would just be him like blabbering over the fucking beat like he does Fucking scrub low. Hey, nigger boy, you want to whip my dick out and fucking get your ass banned? You know I'll do it, faggot. Don't, <laughs> don't try it. You don't know I'll do it. Me. Hey, don't nigger boy, me. shut up. <laughs> shut up, nigger. Shut up, nigger boy. Sorry, <laughs> look at what you've become. Shut up. <laughs> you done nothing but stab me in the back and You're bash true. on me for the last eight months. So you know what? Suck my dick, nigger boy. Suck oh, my dick. <laughs> She's no, so bitch. I don't know what he thought dropping his voice was gonna do, like doing his 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 attempt at uh, getting his voice down a octave or two. I don't I don't know why he thinks that makes it a tougher action to do that. Again, at, again, like there's there's no animal in the wild I know that does this. So it's it's only a Cyrax. So, I, 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ, chance. Well, let me tell you right now, Morty. Suck my dick, nigga. Suck oh. my dick. Suck my dick. Jump. <laughs> so, Morty, come at me again, faggot. Come at me again. I'll have your whole goddamn channel taken, bro. I've done it before and I've done it again. I'm out for blood, Morty. And you're number one on my goddamn list. Marty, give me my shit back or I will expose myself on your channel and get you taken down. And don't think I won't do it because I've done it before and you know it. You know what, Marty? 
Fuck you, nigger boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, nigger boy. You white trash dude. I say, Marty, you shit. Ah, that's the dig on his. It's the fucking. It's the. It's the rake, bro. It's the fucking rake or a Wendigo or some shit. Look at that. Look at that. Die and fucking Auschwitz, you filthy hey, fucking. What happened to your hands, Marty? Marty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for talking. <laughs> Sorry, it's a dumb Lovecraft reference. I apologize. You're a fucking swine. You're a faggot little swine that deserves to have his goddamn neck slit, bitch. So, Marty, does that sleep one eye open tonight, bitch? This is why you're 43, Cyrax. Fuck the crap. Marty. Marty. Oh, you're a piece of shit guy. Hey, Marty. Suck my dick. Fuck my dick, bitch! You fat slob! You fat fucking bitch ass slob! I will not stand by and let you do this shit. What the hell are you doing? I refuse to let you take your back. Obviously, you haven't watched the stream. Oh, by the way, buddy! Suck my dick, nigga boy! (laughs) (laughs) So, Marty! I like that that face Tony's making. He He looks entirely unimpressed. He's like, uh, I've I've seen better. He's he's just like he's he's uh pretty stone cold here. I'll I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Have fun getting your stream shut down, bitch. Hey, Tony. Hey, sir. It's a matter. That's <laughs> that's because. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marty, by the way. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. What's he doing? He's whipping his penis out. God damn, every shirt he wears is like three times his size. I don't I guess it's just because he's tiny and he insists on buying adult clothes. Like he's he's such a little guy. Like good lord. It just everything he wears looks huge. It's <laughs> he always looks like a little kid. It's fucking funny. Perform bombing, bro. Hey, Marty, how's the field out of taste your own medicine, fuck bag? You're gonna be a fucking loser like him, and they will I love you. you, loser. I own it. Yeah, well, guess what? Suck my dick, Marty. Look at him. Look at him. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's insane. Yeah, well, guess what? I'd rather be crazy and insane than to be a loser. <laughs> loser. <laughs> hey, Marty. Whip it out, bitch. Hey, yo, Crip K, flag this shit, bro. Flag this. Oh, I get it. It's so he can. It's so he can whip his dig out faster. Cause, like, you know, with a. Okay, I, I guess I don't know. I guess that's a strategy. Pro- the lack of shoulders probably doesn't help, honestly. Will you be there at six p.m. at Little Mike's on Friday? Suck my dick, nigger boy. <laughs> Just <laughs> fucking Heather Kraut. That's great. <laughs> dick, nigger boy. Suck my okay. dick. There we go. What's the matter, Marty? What's the matter, Marty? You're dumb as fuck, bro. You're dumb as fuck, nigger boy. Suck my dick, nigger boy. Suck my dick, boy. Suck my dick. Dude, his fucking hat. <laughs> His fucking hat, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's adorable. That's fucking adorable, Jens. 
I've never seen a human being abuse the genitals like that. That was swift, furious. Marty, by the way, suck. So, oh my god, dude. Okay, so this never works, I actually just look like more on him. I fucking love Burger Boy. Oh my god, I love Burger Boy. He's amazing. Like, dude, his, his laugh is just it's infectious, bro. I love it. I love it. It's 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 a very mocking laugh. It's it just it's a laugh that just cuts deep into your soul, right? And just you know, when you're doing something stupid, you hear that laugh, and it's just it it eats you, bro. It has to, cause like my fucking chance hates it, bro. Heather hates it. Like, uh, love me some Burger Boy. <laughs> what, a, what a brave dude. What Protecting his dude. family with his genitals. Yeah, he's jumping. He's jumping. Hey, Marty, you want my dick so bad? Come suck it. You want my dick? Suck it. Suck it. Tex, are you just going to whip your penis out at me last night? You're damn right I am. You're damn right. So you want my cool. dick? Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. So, so that was Stuck my dick, you dick. I don't know why he's wearing the Call of Duty shirt. I've never seen him play it before. Why don't you to come out there so you can whip your penis out? Every time I tell you to come to me up on your own, you'll get my family involved. Cyrax, you invited me over to go and fight you. Suck my dick! Suck my dick! This, this is the type of person he is. He's just a fucking retard. He's a retard and a coward. You should. You should spare Sally your bullshit. No, I'm not. By the way, suck my dick. Hey, <laughs> suck my <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what Marty. Hey, Marty. Keep it going, fat right. fuck. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll sit here, I'll jerk up on your stream all fucking day. I don't give a fuck. Go <laughs> well, ahead, I'll form on there and say, hey, nigger boy. Hey, nigger lover. Watch your old baggy. Hey, nigger lover. Watch you suck my dick shit from one so bad. Jack off. Jack off on you. <laughs> now that I need to clip and put it into a song. Like, absolutely. I got. I have to do something with that. <laughs> Sorry, so you realize you bring your family into all of this, right? No, I did not. You're the one that did it, you fat <laughs> No. So, my wife, I don't do a fuck. Oh, God. If you two dance like this, Little money punk ass motherfuckers that want to hate, go and kiss my motherfucking ass, nigga. Hey, y'all can suck my dick. I'm done with you. I've never seen him do that on his own videos. Like, that's interesting. Interesting. I didn't think he would. Well, I don't know why I didn't think he'd be that stupid, but that's. Hmm. I guess it's not that surprising. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm done with this fucking platform. I'm done. Matter of fact, YouTube, y'all niggas can kiss my ass, bitch. And you can suck my dick. I don't know why he gets mad about the Kiwi Farm shit. Like, what? I don't know why he gets so upset about that. Like. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because guess what? It's my life, and I'll take my life back, bitch. Sorry, X. I only acted like I, I took two weeks off, so you would be given the sense of power that whipping your dick out was an opportune move. Uh, all the time. No, he's just buffering. He's buffering, buffering, buffering. Trying to porn bomb for sure. Yeah, no, I, I agree that he is as well. So you can just sit back there and listen until he figures his shit out, until I can see a screen. Yeah, exactly. She, he doesn't want to get his stuff taken down. I was just, I was just surprised. Like he just lost it on one of his own videos and decided to, uh, you know, porn bomb his own stuff. I was like, damn, dude, like, <laughs> fucking moron. One thing that he came up with on his own though was screaming the. You're, abs you're absolutely right. <laughs> you know though. what I mean? Like that was um, because I gave him half of that equation, whipping your, pe <laughs> whipping your penis out, and the other half. 
of the N word. He came up with that as well, and I called that the double whammy. You know, once you got a double whammy going on on a, uh, on a live stream, it's got to be taken down. You've got you've got to. Uh, in fact, YouTube Gypsy. will contact you immediately, and uh, you'll have conversations with them <laughs> soon thereafter. You know, Sar- I think Sarex is trying to do some sort of uh, trickery right now. Double whammy, double whammy is right. Double whammy is right. You know, it's. it's I came up with the term double whammy. He came up with the N-word part. Nice, nice, nice. Well, guys, that's uh, I think that's pretty much gonna do it today. I uh, gotta get going here real quick. Get some uh, get some dinner ready and whatnot. Uh, but I appreciate you guys being here, every single one of you. Uh, she Palpatine, thank you for being here. Burger Boy, thanks for stopping by. Elmer Chud, Daddy O'Beggins, Duante Twenty Four, Bucky the Hammer, Patron Saint of Horses, LFM Sharky. Uh, you guys absolutely make this stuff. Um, y- you make this channel what it is, man. You really do. You make this stuff entertaining. Starts with Edward Boy. So on before saying he is deleting his channel. Yeah, you, you can definitely tell like when he deletes it and then when he gets struck, it's because he'll usually come on until, you know, do a video about it. <laughs> um, God, he's, he's so predictable. It's it's all part of the cycle. Um, he's w- one of the most downright predictable people like you, you can always tell what he's going to do. Uh, he tries so hard to stay under the radar, but it just doesn't work for the guy. But anyway, um, yeah, no, uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have made this, uh, channel great and, uh, hope to see you guys again here soon. So, uh, I'm Metal Gear Rax. Thank you again. You guys have a good night.